Hi gang, Craig from Arms and Armor here today. We're going to look at our Scottish two-hander. It's a very popular sword that we make and have a lot of people that really, really like it. It's a big sword, as most of these uh, pieces were. This particular piece is about 56 inches long. So it's a big, massive sword. It's got a broad, straight kind of edge blade, slight taper to it, but not much, and is a particularly good feeling sword in the hand. It has about 5.2 pounds of weight, cogs running at about three and a half inches where the, the uh, piece wants to rotate around itself. And it really is a very efficient sword for use in two hands. Uh, having that space between your two hands really creates the leverage you can use for a sword of this size to really make it work very well for you. And it's got some distinctive features that make it a Scottish sword in a sense. When you look at the hilts of these, they have these sloping forward guards in most cases. They end in a quarter foil. Uh, the earliest versions of this type of sword that we see on effigies, like at the Iona Abbey uh, effigies, you will see that kind of forward sloping guard, but they end in kind of a rough, kind of elongated almond shape almost. And those types of swords are single-handed and they have pommels that are closer to some of the late Viking styles actually, as opposed to the wheel pommel that you see on this particular style of, of hilt. Most all of these had wheel pommels. There's a few kind of bulbous round or egg shapes uh, that you see on a few later ones. I've seen one earlier one that had that kind of a structured spherical pommel and it was composed of elements. It was hollow inside. You don't need a lot of weight in your pommel when you have a two-handed sword. So this particular piece has the wheel. It has a slight crescent-shaped washer underneath the nut. Uh, you see that on several of them. And it has the tines that come down from the actual point of the center of the guard and come down the blade. Whether that is to kind of hold a softer topped scabbard tight, who knows? It's an element you see on a lot of them. Some of them are more exaggerated than others, but there's no specific less we can tell that this is what it was for that I'm aware of. The grip on this is about 12 inches long. It has a leather covering. We can do that in a couple different colors. Uh, the terminology on these, uh, we have a blog post that we did a little while back and I would refer you to that to look at the terminology on these. The sword is, you know, got some heft to it. It's a great, great cutter. It's got a lenticular almost blade shape. It just barely crests into a center line in the, up here. But then as you get down close to the tip, we have a very lenticular shape, which matches the original that we based this on. At the time it was in a private collection. We're not sure where it is today because it has been sold on. Real striking element of this sword when you get it in both hands and start cutting with it is just the amount of power you can generate with this type of sword. It's very impressive. As you can see, if I hold it out, the blade will actually sag slightly. That's a component you see in a lot of larger long swords even, but in two-handers especially. If, it, if you have a, or somebody's telling you something's original and you hold it out and that blade doesn't have a little sag in it, it's super stiff and thick and heavy. That's probably indicative that it's not an original sword. These things were very much weapons were designed for efficiency in use and the ability to manipulate them in time and space in a fight. These Scottish two-handers are very interesting and uh, well-known swords. And a lot of times, like when we're at a show dealing with the customers, a lot of our time is explaining to them what exactly this sword is what the terminologies mean, and then also why every other two-handed sword in our booth or in our, at our table is not a Claymore or a Scottish sword. And the whole piece comes together pretty nicely. It is a classic two-handed sword from Scotland and is really a piece that a lot of people like. Particular sword lovers who really like their Scottish history and their Scottish swords will really like this reproduction. And if it's something you'd be happy to have, just give us a call and we'll make you one.